Hey guys, how's it going? Otaku Mike here, back again with another video for you guys today. New to the channel, punch that subscriber button, click that notification bell, and you know, throw a like up there. Today we are looking at Volume 1 of Gigant. It is written and drawn by Hiroya Oku. He is best known for the Gant series and the Inuyashiki series. He's best, he's known for basically the violent sci-fi um, seinen manga that you see today, basically. But let's get into this. So, our story starts out with our main character named Ray. He has budding um, dreams or ambitions to basically become a big ticket director. He, his dad is a movie producer, so he got his love of movies from his dad working in the industry, which is pretty cool. Um, one day while walking in his neighborhood, he finds these um, flyers plastered everywhere. And it basically says, uh, basically a porn star named Poppy Poppyco lives here. Um, you know, if you find her, she'll basically sleep with you kind of thing. And they're kind of derogatory, you know, posters. Um, you know, and then one night, you know, he, he's thinking about these. He starts taking them down because he just happens to be a really big fan of this one particular porn star. It just so happens they strike up a friendship because he sees, she sees him taking down these posters in her neighborhood because she just recently moved this neighborhood and she's like, hey, did you put these up? He's like, no, I didn't, I'm actually a fan. He's like, she's like, oh my God, you're a fan of mine? You know? Um, and she's like, hey, you know, let's grab a bite to eat, you know, let's talk and whatnot, you know? So they strike up a friendship, um, sort of, you know, they, they text, you know, you know, whatnot, and you know, suggest each other manga, just so happens to be by the exact same creator who made this manga, just saying. A little meta, don't you think? But it turns out Ray's new friend Chio, who is the mysterious girl named um, Papiko, uh, turns out her life as a porn star isn't that great. She has an abusive boyfriend. Her family doesn't really condone her doing this line of work, but her line of work just so happens to pay for their expenses? A little hypocritical, don't you think? Just saying, you know. Then one day, um, Chiho runs across a guy who got hit by a car, and he's like, she's like, you know, oh my god, I gotta call an ambulance, you know, what's going on here? Um, he takes this device, slaps it on her wrist, she can't get this thing off, and he's like, you know, you gotta look after the rest of them and whatnot. And, and she's like, what, what are you talking about? What's this thing on my wrist? I don't know what it is. You know, and weirdly enough, he turns into a doll. And this is where I was like, okay, this is where the crazy sci-fi shit is gonna come up. Because, you know, at, at the beginning of this, you know, there wasn't that much think crazy about this. You know, it was pretty, pretty normal. Pretty normal, you know. Uh, we got to see the story interchange with uh, Ray and Chiho and, you know, intermix, you know, whatnot. Got to see their lives as they're basically going on in the story. But she gets the, this device from this guy and a DVD. She puts in the DVD, doesn't really know what, what's going on. But she's messing with this device at one point. And it comes to find out, there's the device right there that she can basically increase her size a lot like giant man can and which is really really crazy um and she basically gets ray to help her out help her figure out what the hell is going on with this device and you know this crazy thing that's happened to her you know when it comes to trying to get the device off her arm but they basically find out that the guy who got hit by the car is trying to basically thwart uh, the end of the world or the apocalypse from happening. Um, he might be a time traveler or, or something like that. There might be an alien invasion involved. 
I don't know. It's really an interesting book. And that's where I'm honestly, I'm going to leave it there and not really try to spoil anything else for this book. Um, I really like the artwork. I thought the artwork is just amazing. The characters are actually likable characters, you know, for the most part. You know, um, they seem to strike up a real friendship, Ray and Chiho, um, you know, and bond over different subject matters. It just so happens that one happens to be a fan of hers, you know. That's a little weird, but, you know, we'll go with it, okay. Um, but, yeah, um, there are a couple action scenes in this. Uh, but it was mostly with, um, regarding, like, Chiho and her boyfriend. And, cause they don't have a really good relationship. He's a domestic abuser, basically. Which, I wasn't okay with that. Um, but, you know, you don't really want to hit women. You know, that's what I was taught. But it's really interesting to see, you know, their, their thoughts and their, you know, of the world. You know, Chiho is basically doing this to... To survive and you know and help her family out and whatnot things got interesting when I found out that she turned really big and now I don't know what's gonna happen apparently they have to thwart a uh, Armageddon you know basically I don't know how they're gonna do that but they're gonna do it eventually but this was a fun first read when I first heard about this manga somebody told me that it wasn't good they're like it's not Gantz it's not good I have to disagree. I thoroughly enjoyed this first manga. Sci-fi mystery. Pretty cool. Um, I like the aspect of that she grows really big. And she just happens to get stronger as she she grows, you know. It's interesting. Um, this is not going to be for everybody. Because it does touch on some adult subject matter. Um, if you're over 18, read it. If you're not, I would say don't read it. Because there is nudity and stuff like that in this book but yeah there's the back right there there's the front um i highly recommend this it was actually a really fun book i love the backgrounds the backgrounds looked like they were taken from like photo references which was pretty cool and i liked all the pop culture references as well you get to see a lot of spider-man Mar marvel stuff um a lot of movie references from like blade runner you know die hard the terminator at one point, he's wearing a Spider-Man shirt, but it says Man Spider, and it's clearly a homage to that or Todd McFarlane uh, Spider-Man 300 cover on the front of it, which is really cool. If you're looking for something different, I actually highly recommend this book. It was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to read more. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'm Otaku Mike. I'll catch you guys on the next video.